Championship season continues. We've got high school girls basketball action right here on Erie Sports Now. We start with a 4A girls consolation game. Harbor Creek battling Connie on this one at the Haggerty Family Events Center. We started the first quarter, score two apiece. Talon King, the good pass to Brooke Prisbilski down low. She had 22 points for two Harbor Creek. King takes the shot herself this time and knocks down the jumper. She finished with 12 points. Speaking of jumpers, Hannah Brady getting going for the Eagles. The elbow jumper is good from mid range. She tipped in 11 points. Brady again, she's going to work back and in. Going to take it all the way to the hoop for two more. Huskies still lead by three. Second quarter, Laney Harrington. The miss, no good on the layup with a putback by Courtney Perry. The friendly bounce plus the foul. Second half action here. Huskies on the offense. Good pass to Bella and Fentino. She finishes with the layup there. On the other end, Harrington drives and scores to make it just a two-point game. But Conneaut had to foul and free throws carried Harbor Creek the rest of the way. Harbor Creek wins this consolation game 53-48. to Well, in our favor, we, we came out with some energy in the second half came out of the locker room with some good energy uh, the end of the first half ended well we we hit one at the end and to go up 10 we hit some foul shots at the end we did uh, pull ourselves back up and and finished okay now the district 10 3a championship game a rivalry big time northwestern and mercyhurst prep getting ready to go millie pierce on the rebound sets up from just inside the three-point line and scores the first basket of the game for the lakers outside shot rebound Right here by Michaela Presser Palmer. She puts it right back in. 2 2 ball game tied up. Wildcats in transition. Here's Taylor Stagel getting the right handed layup to fall right there off the glass. But the Lakers respond with a transition layup of their own. Ashlyn Kercher finishes on the other end on the left handed side of the glass. Second half. Lakers up by 10. Olivia Kulik on the outside. That's straight cash. She's fired up. 35 22 Mercyhurst. The Wildcats trying to stay in this contest. Presser Palmer once again on the cleanup crew. She finished with 20 points. The Lakers on the offense again. Mari Nixon left wide open down low. That's trouble. Mercyhurst again. Kulik missing from the outside. Rebound Lakers. Netkowitz, Mangini to Nixon with another basket. You're back to back 3A champions. The Mercyhurst Prep Lakers. Final score 59 41. I thought uh, the kids really executed the game plan. I mean, defensively, our ball pressure, uh, communicating, making our switches. And I thought we really did a great job of getting to the 50-50 balls, and we did a really good job of rebounding tonight. It was so good since my senior year, ending on a good note and being, becoming a back-to-back -back champion for my junior year. Um, the game was super fun to play. We had so much energy on the bench, on the court, in the locker room before and after. It was just a really great experience. Final game at the Haggerty Family Events Center. The 4A title, the Warren Dragons and the Fairview Tigers going head to head. First quarter, no score. We'll pick it up here. The kick out to the corner. Who's there? Riley Scholes gets the triple to get the scoring started. But how about this response? Alana Stewart for the Dragons. How does that go in? Well, tip of the cap. That's a fantastic play there. But Stewart says, you know, I can do that, but I can also do this. A shooting from the outside going in. Dragons pull ahead by two, but Bree Height in the paint spins around and puts it in for Dose. The Tigers working the ball around on this possession here. Ella Garrity lines it up and cashes in from long range. That's a two pointer. Low scoring game, but Fairview wins 28 26 for the 4A crown. District 10 third place game here. Wilmington takes down Seneca 69 to 40. Some other scores for you. The 2A District 10 championship. Kennedy Catholic wins this game over the Maplewood Tigers 60 to 25. 2A third place game. The Big Reds of West Middlesex win over Cochranton. Final score 33 to 18 for the 1A championship. Youngsville and Jamestown duking it out. Jamestown takes the title 39 21 over the Eagles. A